let's begin with practice set Seventeen point one today. Okay, now the first sum. In a circle with center P, center is P or the circle called AB is drawn, and the the length of AB is thirteen centimeter. Segment PQ is perpendicular to chord AB. Okay, PQ is perpendicular to AB. Find QB. Find QB. Okay. Now uh, there are certain properties which we need to know before solving this, these sums. The very first property is the perpendicular. The perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to its core. Bisects, bisects the chord. All right. It means now PQ is a. Uh, they are saying PQ is perpendicular to AB, so PQ is going to bisect AB. That means it is going to divide AB into two equal halves. Now they are saying chord AB is what is the length of AB given? AB is thirteen centimeters. Okay. They are asking you how what is length of What is the measure of QB? So if AB is thirty, QB is going to be half of thirteen because PQ is bisecting AB. Bisect means it divides it into two equal halves. So QB is going to be half of AB. All right. So half of thirteen. Two ones are two. Two six are twelve point. So you have uh, carry one which is remaining. Five is a ten. So two ones are two six point five is a ten. All right. So length QB is equal to six point five centimeter. Half of thirteen is six point five. Now sum number two will do. Sum number two. Now radius of a circle with center O is twenty five. So this is the circle with center O. Radius is twenty five. Find the distance of chord from the center if the length of chord is forty eight. Okay, now Q. Oh, sorry, O P. You have to find out. And C D is forty eight. Let's write what is given to us. What is given? Length O D is twenty five centimeters. Okay, why? This It's the radius, all right? Then length C D is forty eight centimeters. Okay, length C D C D is forty eight. So P D will be how much? Length P D is how much? Half of C D because you know the first property we did that the perpendicular drawn from the center of the circle to the chord it bisects the chord. So this is going to be P D is going to be half of forty eight. The whole thing is forty eight. PD will be twenty four, so half of CD, that is half of twenty. Sorry, forty eight. Two ones are two twos are two fours are. So that is twenty four centimeters. Now PD is twenty four. OD is twenty five. You have to find out PD. Now this is perpendicular ninety degree. So when we see ninety degree, we remember Pythagoras. So according to Pythagoras theorem. Okay, according to Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square, right? So, hypotenuse square is equal to side one square plus side two square. A hypotenuse is OD. It is twenty five. Twenty five square is equal to side one is twenty four. Plus side two square. Side two is O O P. All right. So twenty five square is six twenty five. So six twenty five is equal to square of twenty four. Twenty four is twenty four into twenty four. Four four is a sixteen. Four two is a eight and one nine. Four two is a eight. Two two is a four. So six. Then here you have five seventy six. 
576 plus side 2 square. Okay, so 5, uh, 625 minus 576 is equal to side 2 square. Let's subtract and find out. So you have, you will do 625 minus 576. 6, 1. So you have 9. So here you take 11 minus 7 is 4. This is 0. So 625 minus 576 is 49 is equal to side 2 square. So side 2 square is 49. So what is side 2? The square will go away from here. It becomes root here. Root of 49 is side 2. So side 2 is 7 because root of 49 is 7. So what is what were they asking you? Uh, what is the distance of the chord from the center? That is OP they wanted. Distance of the chord from the center. Therefore, distance of chord from the center is 7 centimeters. Alright. Now let's do sum number 3. Now sum number 3. Sum number 3 says O is center of the circle. Okay. Find the length of the radius of the chord of length 24 centimeter. This chord is 24. Is at a distance of 9 centimeter from the center. 9 centimeter. This is 24. Half of 24. This is going to be 12. Now we have to find out the uh, find the length of the radius. Okay, this is going to be the radius, right? We have to find out this. Again, Pythagoras theorem we have to find uh, use. So, now this is given, no? Length AB. Uh, here, nothing is given. So, let's, let's label it as C, okay? So, we'll call this point as C. Length OC is 9 centimeters. Length AB is equal to 24 centimeters. Therefore, length AC this AC is going to be half of length AB. Half of 24. Two ones are two twelves are 12 centimeters. So AC is 12. OC is 9. Pythagoras use Pythagoras theorem according to Pythagoras theorem. Okay, length AO square is equal to length OC square plus length AC square is equal to 9 square plus 12 square. 9 square is 81 plus 144 and we get 81 plus 144 is 225. So, length of AO square is equal to 225. Length AO is equal to root of 225. And root of 225 is 15. So, it is 15 centimeters. Now, your final answer will be the radius of the circle. The radius of the circle is 15 centimeters. Okay, now sum number 4 is like sum number 2. So, once you understand sum number 2, you will be able to do sum number 4 on your own.